I'm at Swan Island Dahlia today with Heather. And so Heather, we're in the display garden right now, mm -hmm. right? And there are so many different kinds of dahlias here. And this is really a cool place to be because you could see them all in just a small space. Yeah, it's really nice because you can get up close and see all the different styles. So dahlias come in such a wide range of styles, but also size. Yeah, oh my gosh. I mean, you kind of just see that. We go down from like one inch all the way up to 12 to 14 inches. And then you have all the different variations in between, which is exciting to see, I think. It's one of those flowers that gives you a huge array of Definitely. different looks. Yeah, and so what's this one? Because I would think that's a Cosmo or something. I know, it's one of the original five dahlias that was taken to England from Mexico to be hybridized. Wow. And so we consider it to be the wild dahlia or one of them. Um, and its name is D. Serensi, and it does, it doesn't look like a typical not dahlia. At all. Not at all. But it does give us, um, it's the start, the uh, one of the beginning points of where we get all of these different hybridized dahlias. Cool, so. and you're gonna tell us the different kind of styles here. So let's start on your side. So this is bashful. Um, it's called a single and just that it has actually just one row or a single row of petals um, and most of these varieties are not good cut flowers um, this variety though in fact is a good cut flower <laughs> but um, it's very unusual of the style uh -uh. and then we go to something like this that's considered a collarette and they look very similar but this guy has an actual little collar of petaloids in there so they're kind of similar and they kind of look somewhat right. like mm -hmm, the original definitely. dahlia and then they've been hybridized on and on and we get quite a different array sure. these seem to be really popular but they're anemones oh. so they end up with more of a pin cushion in the center with one row of petals not good cut flowers though they All tend right. to lose their single petals really quickly right. once they've been cut um, probably more the typical are these guys in the middle and this is a formal decorative oh, and so there's some real tight classifications on what makes each one um, its style. So right. an informal decorative does not wrap all the way back to the stem, okay. but it's pretty formal looking. Um, and this guy is a ball, but a ball has to wrap all the way back. Okay. So then we go into, that was a formal decorative and a ball, and then we go to an informal decorative, which means it's not spiky enough to be a cactus, but it's not formal enough to be sure. really tight. In so kind of in between. Then we go to the cactus format and you have um, a very straight cactus or what they now just call a cactus. And it's pointed all the way, the entire petals are pointed. Then we have what's called a semi cactus where it doesn't seem to be as pointy <laughs> as far. So it different. gets semi cactus. And then, you know, most people consider these giants to be dinner oh plates. Oh my gosh. Dinner plate really just refers to a common name for okay. its size, um, but it's not really a style classification. Those are informal decoratives um, in that they're a little ruffly and unusual and not formal looking. So. And just huge. Huge, amazing. <laughs> and you can come and see those all during the festival. So just yes. a, a really quick idea about that. So the festival this year runs all the way through September. We are open six days a week, um, closed on Wednesdays, 9 to 5.30. You can see the beautiful fields. You can see the uh, display gardens. We've got different classes, a farmer's market on Fridays, rotating food carts. Um, lots to enjoy. Of course, cut flowers available also. Ah, well, you know, it's just a little bit different for the festival this year, but you can really come and enjoy all the beautiful flowers. Please go to gardentime.tv and you can get all that information from all the websites. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you.